It's the 1st of April when I'm recording this, so I just want to ask, what stupid shenanigans have you come across today on the, some, the amazing April Fools, or what have you come across on your last April Fools, depending on when you're watching this? Hopefully it's not someone pretending to be a Karen or a Kevin. Hopefully it was just some fun shenanigans, but hey, welcome to Completely Stupid, the show about stupid people doing completely stupid things. I'm your host, the Australian Idiot, and let's get into the clips. Some context to this clip to what happened prior to this, the guy in the black suit there called the Toa here, which is the guy in the cap and the sh black shirt, to come and tow a bunch of these cars away. Ultimately though, when he gets there, it turns to complete and utter chaos. <laughs> I have so many questions that I doubt we'll ever get any actual answers from because this entire situation just seems completely nuts. Like, it looks like the guy in the suit doesn't really care anymore about the towing in the first place and would just rather not have this huge kerfuffle on his parking lot. And everyone else whose cars were supposedly meant to get towed in this situation are uh, harassing the tower as what happens in society because no one likes getting punished for their actions of leaving a car in a bad space or something along those lines. Like, maybe in the situation that isn't the case and the guy just asks for them to be towed for m maybe no reason, no good reason, and that could be completely true here. But again, this is the type of way people treat anyone trying to tow cars in any way, shape, or form, regardless of how they caused it. So, it's not surprising. But, it, I don't know, this seems like chaos. Hopefully it all got sorted out. Hopefully. The story behind this one is that the person who's behind the camera, their car alarm was going off apparently all night according to the old lady here. According to the person behind the camera, this old lady in the morning went all the way over to her, apartment's com her apartment in the complex, which is on the other side of the building, so it's less likely she's going to be able to hear a car alarm going off, apparently was knocking aggressively on her door, and then when the doors open, apparently was aggressively either speaking or aggressively yelling about the car alarm thing 
to the neighbor. That's what I'm gathering from what the story's being told here. So, yeah. Anyhow, this escalates with the uh, older white, the older lady deciding to call the cops on this one because apparently uh, a crime's occurred because the car alarm was going off all night. Here's a clip. You're lying. Y'all, so this lady came to, my, came to my door telling me my car is going off, right? Now she's calling the police. Going off all night. Okay, how will I know that? You're a Karen. Karen, I found a Karen, guys. I found a Karen. Her car alarm. You sound stu stupid. It's literally being a nuisance to every single neighbor around us. I can't wait till the police get here, bro. Because you're not going to sit here and harass me uh, for my like, car. I'm not harassing anybody. You are harassing me. You came to my door. You Okay. Tell her at least turn it off during the day. And you said it in the worst way you could possibly say it. Girl, bye. Is that the police? When I asked the door if that was her call. Hello, are you the police? Come on. My name is Holly. Holly, you can call me Hollywood. No, you ain't gonna girl by you ain't get there for me. Hi, how are you? Okay, so I live in 107 in the back right here. So if you stand in my room, I can get through I can cut my alarm back home, you will not hear my alarm. And the only reason it would only reason it will go off. Is it because it's really sensitive? I don't know if something hitting it. The tree is hitting it, but like if what, anything what hit it, my car alarm, okay. it was going off. I guess it was going off all night and apparently it was unlocked. So I don't know if somebody was trying to get in there, but you know, it's a car. If, if somebody's trying to get in your car, it's going to go off. Mm -hmm. So, it's no, it's my white Acura. But, um, so I didn't, I can't hear it. Like if you go in my room, I can't hear Jack. Like I'm in the back. I can't hear nothing. Okay. She came to my door very hostile saying hi. And, no, yeah, you did. Oh, oh yeah, you did. Oh, yeah, you did. Anyways, um, yeah, you can't hear it. So she came to my door. She was like, is that your, is that your car going off? And I, my mom said no because she didn't know, like, could my car ever go off. <laughs> um, then she was like, I was like, is a white acro? Oh, yeah, mine. She was like, oh, well, can you cut it off? If she would say that, that's it. Cool. She was like, it's been um, 2 o'clock in the morning, 4 o'clock in the morning, and you're doing disturbance. I'm going to call the police on you because, like, she just went off. She went off. I'm a very, like, I'm a young person. Slammed the door okay. in my face. I slammed the door in my okay. face because okay. you was yelling. Here's, here's, here's <laughs> it's a car. I'm the only one here right now, okay? Yeah. I don't need you guys talking to each other right now. I need to see me I'm figure out. To you. No, no, I got you. I got you. You're, you're fine. You're fine. But let me try to figure this out so that way I can help you instead of I'm it escalating further. You know what I'm trying to say? So just give me one second. Some people are just, okay. like, not. Okay. So, like, so, you could, she could so, easily so, say, so, huh? Like I say, I'm here to keep the peace unless a crime occurred. Did did a crime occur? No. Okay. Yes. Okay. okay. What cr my car? Okay. Going off? I'm in the bed. I'm asleep. Like okay. Yeah, is All right. Crime. Is it, is there anything else that you need to tell Why me? Why she's still talking? No. I'm about to go talk to her is and that, figure out her no, side. No, I'm trying to figure out. Is like okay. is a black? I don't want because she said something about being white, okay. so I don't want to put no race in it. I'm not a race person. No, no, no I got you. Uh, yeah. Um, so I don't like I, that. I don't like that. Did that. Okay, I don't like so, that. So now that I got another officer here, if you don't mind going... Okay. I think the first thing I just want to push here, I, I get you want to tell your story and you feel like she's going to just lie and all that and you want to just make sure the cop gets your story, but when he saw you like, hey, I'll get to you. I want to talk to you guys separately. You kind of just stop for a moment and let the police officer do their thing. You're only going to frustrate them more with this entire thing if you continue to annoy them and continue to try and push your end of the story. Like, I get it. It sucks if in this case. But yeah, just, just maybe don't do that. On the second thing, A, I'm so glad that most new, car mo most new cars don't have those car alarms that go off when you touch the car. Like... It was a good idea on the surface, those type of car alarms, but ultimately, over time, it's just really terrible. And also, well, doesn't the car alarm just, like, like it's from the sounds of it, it sounds like the car alarm flicked off on multiple times, something touched the car to flick it back on again, and it looped on that all night, which, interesting to say the least, I've not seen a car alarm do that. I worked in an undercover car park for quite a while, and occasionally car alarms will go off, and they will turn off after a while, and then you just don't hear that car alarm go off again. Most likely never. This work was taking their sweet damn time to give over their drinks that someone else brought that is currently sitting in the drive through waiting to get their drinks. When they finally do, uh, the customer decides to be the brightest idea to throw it right back in her face. 
Hefty's refusing to give us our pop that we paid for. So we can't get our Coke that we paid for? We're gonna hold up the line until we get our Coke. Can you give us our for. pop? You in there talking about our gift card. You're in there talking about our gift card. Like, what's wrong with the gift card? It's, it's the you were about my job. I didn't say nothing until I heard you talking about our gift card. Hey, my man, I'm a girl. Can we can just get, get our coke? pop? My man, can I get my coke, get bro? Get my money back then. We just want our pop. Well, can I get my money back? Can I get my money back? Well, can I get my coke then? Okay. She's talking really negative. She's swearing. I understand the frustrations, but throwing the drink right back in their face is not exactly the brightest idea as well. I get the frustration, truly I do, but it's not what you do man. Just take your drink and move on with your life. You threw it back in her face, now they could potentially grab your license plate, potentially go after you for assault if they so choose, yada yada yada. You get the picture of where this could particularly go depending on how much of an asshole this person is behind the counter. So, you just don't do these type of things, you know? Oh well. In the next stream, the home team has been talking mad trash the entire game, but it turns out they lost. So someone from the other side decided to come over and, well, give them a taste of their own trash talking medicine. Trash the whole Who's game. Who's the cowbells at? Losers! Losers! Bye bye! Bye bye! Bye bye! Bye bye! That's a good excuse. Bye bye! There you go. Yo. Thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you. I appreciate you. No problem. No problem. Oh wow! Flip me off. Oh wow! Wow! Losing really gets to some people. I can see. No problem. Oh, I am winner, right? Winner. Wait for shorty at the end. Who else got something to say before I put the camera up? Appreciate you, appreciate you, my boy. Typical what? Go parking. Whoa! 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 Typical of what? Whoa! I love how most of them kind of played into the fun of it all. Just, just how it is. Just like they accept, like, yeah, we did this the entire game. We're going to still do a little bit of trash talking back, but we lost it. It is what it is. Then a few people are just upset about it entirely, which is brilliant. In his next clip, we got a Karen who lacks the little bit of patience she needed to just wait for this person to pause what they're doing to help them. Hey, a camera right there. I don't play those games. It's a camera right there. Leave me alone and do it's not a follow. It's right there. And I'm not playing. Y'all working today and don't hey, want to be y'all hey, job. I'll, I'll get a supervisor. What is his name? I, I just got, I just started here like a month ago. I just started here a month ago. I'm not sure what anyone's name is. If you want, if you want. Do you know where the manager is? She needs a manager. Yeah. Her ass tweaking. She didn't even give Nigga, me a I ain't never tweaking. to stop. You got and me like confused. literally get what I need so I can continue with my order. She had a question. You didn't even give me a chance to answer your question. Because you, you assume you have a you funky ass attitude, attitude off the shelf and, and I'm not dealing with that before You me can leave. Go to make my ass. Go to my Get a real job. I am at my job. No, you are not. But I work at 24-7. What? This ain't a job, But it is. I wake up and I call her. It ain't. What the f*** it you ain't. What do you do? Besides harass people. No, I'm not harassing. But you are. Excuse so how me. Excuse me. How hard is it for you to give me your name? I don't want to. I don't Why want not? you to have my name. What I will you phone you to your supervisor. But you won't. I will. Or what you gonna do? Because I got my bond money in my pocket. Working. What are you gonna do? Oh, I remember it very well. Hey, Kelsey. I've been on this earth Kelsey. 43 years. My child. You think you can get a manager? What? You think you can get a manager? Do you think you can get a manager? Yeah. What happened exactly? What happened exactly? She, I was walking past, I was walking really past to grab some Folgers. She asked me if I had met you. So I stopped my part, I turned around. She instantly had an attitude, started going off. Woo, 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 you weren't even gonna stop. I'm, ma'am, I literally just stopped my car so I can grab Folgers. Yeah. It's in my car. Yeah, just doing, just in the middle of your job. Yeah, pretty much. so my thing is, if I had an attitude, I would never answer you from the beginning. I would have just kept going. Yeah. But I stopped, that was the thing. So she assumed that I was gonna keep going because I was 
when like, you really I was wasn't. Speed, no, I was yeah. speed walking. So obviously, I'm gonna. It's gonna look like I'm going really fast. I do it sometimes too. Yeah. So <laughs> she just assumed that I wasn't going to stop and answer her question. That's not me. I answer anyone's questions if they have a question or need help. It was just but a situation she, that happened really bored. fast. Huh? It was just a situation that happened really fast. Literally, she's bored as hell, and I don't give a damn. So it is what it is. <sighs> They're handling that right now. Yeah, I was just kind of sweeping when it happened. The whole, the whole Why do you have both earbuds in? Oh, sorry. So, That's part of the problem. When he got loud and jazzed with me, I stopped this young man. 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 Okay, so uh, with this one here, I'm more liable to believe the person who's working, the person who's currently doing the, I'm assuming is online shopping, doing shopping for someone else who's going to come and collect that shopping later. Because I understand the sheer amount of restrictions you have on how quickly you have to do that type of thing. It may be slightly different to how they operate in America, but over here in Australia, it's kind of like one of those things where you're measured on how fast you can do other people's shopping. It's like one of those weird things. So when people are moving from section to section, they will be speed walking. They'll be walking slightly fast. They'll be doing it safely because you're pushing a big metal trolley thing. So if it hits someone, it's going to do some damage. But when you ask someone for help who's pushing one of those things, you've got to give them a moment to stop turn around and hear your question instead of the moment that you tell them ask them the question you don't give them a chance to take a moment to stop what they're doing you just start going off at them you cause problems like this though the worker should have probably maintained a certain level of professionalism because he's probably going to get in trouble for the fact that he let off an f-bomb at the customer that can't get you in some shit it regardless of the reasons behind it regardless of it's warranted or not you shouldn't do it it gets you in trouble either way i don't know it's a sucky situation here we head down under as your local bogan is very upset at a couple of people riding their bikes who rode around a, mo a roundabout weren't going as fast as they humanly possibly can because you know they're bicycles they're not going to go as fast as a goddamn vehicle and this guy's upset that he had to slow down to get around the bicycles why would you go then you know you're on a bike think logical you can't get around well, let me talk you can't get around the roundabout fast enough so logical as so, no, 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 in a car, you go 20 k's under the speed limit, you'll, not, you'll, you'll get pulled over and lose your license. What about you guys? Right, okay. So what you're saying is, we should stop in the middle of the roundabout, so you don't have to give way to no, the roundabout, which saying, is the law. If you're incapable of applying to road rules like everyone else, Go to the side, and when it's there safe, no, it's like it's there like crossing a road. Okay. If I cross a road, I go. I go. There is no minimum speed limit for a bicycle. See, that's bullshit. Well, so that's where you, you need what? to use your brain and be a human part of no, no, society. No, no, no. Well, maybe you should work on some comprehension I'm, skills I'm, and learn how to write and contact your member of parliament right. if you've got an issue with the laws, mate. Little pleb. Little pleb. Follow the rules. We're following the rules. So you don't have to give way to the right. You want us to break the rules. No. So you don't have I to give want way you to, to the right. Logical. And think no, 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 no. There's no logical. Well, well, maybe you should treat us as human beings us. instead of swearing well, at us, so threatening our lives with your motor vehicle. Red light, and you can clearly see they've gone past the red light. Are you going to continue? What do you mean? Say that again. Up your block. Okay. No, genuinely, you did. I didn't quite get that. One. Okay. So I see. You are allowed to go, all right? You are. Yeah. No, so no, no, you're no, 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 you've no, got no. to give way to the right. So yeah, you just acknowledged that we had the right of way, and you came into the roundabout, right, right, okay. threatening Mate, our shut lives. The fuck up. No, you're I'm not going to shut up. You've been quiet. You're scared. Shut up. At least you can talk to me like a man. You're a <laughs> shut up. You can tell you don't even work. Look at you. You can. How Look can you tell you that I don't work, mate? Bro, I can tell from the personality. You could probably go home, and you're a vegan. At least, he, at least he has a decency to let me talk and then speak and you just straight cut me off because you can't handle your emotions because you're a little bitch. I don't, I really don't think all name calling is helping, is it? Let's be honest. Really? Yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah, that's what I was What's name calling going to do with this? Well, you so know. you've got to be a little bitch and worry about no, name calling. No, 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 no. Uh, I uh, thought we were resulting in name calling, right? So, 
what? I'm having a conversation with him and you come and pick your little times when you can talk because you're uncomfortable to be a man. So when you want to be a man, speak to me. Okay, well, how about you shut the f up, get off the road, get back in your car. I ain't gonna do s though. You can't tell me what to do. Anyway, look, I don't know this gent, we just rode up behind him. You, you, and probably you've got a nice meal waiting for you at home. So, have, well, I've got to no, make just, mine. But I, I don't want to hit one of you guys. If I hit one of you guys, that's going to f So there's a, there's a pen in your car called a brake. You can be a use man. that so you, you can't don't hit be a man and f***ing let me speak, but I'll let you speak. That's what I mean. I don't want to have a conversation with a little boy. You're that much of a useless person. Right, but I'm just trying to have a conversation. No, because the last time I had oh, my life, you can't the last life. time I had my life threatened by a, a motor vehicle on the road, I, was, I, I couldn't you? take police action because how? I didn't have footage. So I'm having footage now. Yes, but how did I threaten you? Because you cut, you drove against the road rules into the roundabout. To us. You drove what do close you mean? to us. You did not give us the minimum one and a half meter clearance that you are required to Correct. by law. Because you slowed down. I, that's what I'm trying to explain okay, so, to you. So if you I'm, slowed down in the X. If okay. someone went five k's off so, the whole road, they'll get pulled over. If a large bus, which is, which goes slower around the roundabout. Go There's slower. No do you do the it? same thing to them? And that's what I'm that. trying to say. Mm. Just know. because the law says that, man, use your brain as a human. A minute ago, you were saying that we should obey the law. Now you're whinging because we are obeying the law. So make up your no. mind. I'm trying to say be a f***ing human. And I was just treat us like a human. Oh, dude. And don't put our lives at dude. risk. Dude, I slowed down. If I didn't treat you like a human, I would have drove you over. F***ing thing straight. If I didn't treat you like a human, I'd come over and smack you. But I haven't. So be quiet with... Oh my goodness, man. You know, if you've been assaulted, you will know how this normally turns out. No one comes over and talks. Correct? So I should be thankful that you're showing me the respect for not knocking me out. No, I'm trying to say is I'm not going to assault you, so stop putting your guard up. Just because I'm upset, you're being a little... That's I'm sorry, what I'm you to drove say. around the roundabout in a dangerous manner, you drove close to us, you rode your horn, you wound down yes. your window, you yelled at yes. us, yeah. you then pulled over yeah. instead of driving on and getting on with your life. I why would speak. I why would I not feel threatened? I'm not even I don't even come here to speak to you. I started speaking to him and then you just sat there quiet and then when when you when you felt comfortable enough to say something because you're a little if you said something. I didn't want to have a conversation with you. I want a conversation with him because you're acting you, I can't have a conversation with you. We're defensive as I'm concerned for his safety, so I'm staying here so there's a witness to whatever you do. Yes, but you don't need to talk. You don't need to put little kid nicklets. Be an adult. When you can talk, you talk. Correct? Because you're displaying your adulthood here right now, the way you're acting. The way you've pulled oh, over no. and you've gotten out with your little tantrum because you had to slow down and lost two seconds in your journey on the way home. No, because I'm trying to pull over so I can stop getting ups and actually understand your reasoning, man. Because Most people will yell and just Oh, I want to know your reasoning. Well, because we are legally entitled to ride yes. on the road as we did, as we were. I approached the roundabout. I indicated the direction of my travel with my right arm as I am legally obliged to do so. When I entered the roundabout, there was no other vehicles on the roundabout. I had clear right of way. I entered the I'm roundabout. As I was say. turning around Use the roundabout, brain. you came up to the, the roundabout. Law. You're just ignoring... Oh, well, so f*** no. the law. So hang on. You can't, you can't have it both ways. Law, can you? That, Which, that, do you that want us to so obey the law or do you want us to disobey the law? I want you to be a human. No, no, do you want no, 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 you're not, not if people you obey the road, the rules of the road. I promise you, do you know how much crackheads live around here? They're just going to see you with that little cyclist. As opposed to the highly rational people like yourself. Yeah. Did I run you over? No. Have I Thank you for not killing me today. That is very magnanimous of you. Get in your car and drive home. Come on. Are you sure? Are we okay to go? Do you want to go have a little boxing? Just to show you a little. No, 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 no. No, no. I want to, yeah, get that's in your point. car and drive yeah, The home. more you say that, I'm going to do anything. Because I'm allowed to park here. I'm allowed to. I'm I know. Really good. I'm not stopping You're actually you. too close to an intersection to park there legally. Yeah, you are. So, honestly, you might, it might be an cool. idea to move. Cool. Okay, I'm fine with you, but... Me and right. I, I came to have a conversation, and you want to be like you, this. You keep filming while I phone the police, because... Yeah, phone the police. I've got fed up long enough now, and we've tried to be rational. And How you, want, I... you want us to break the law, but then you don't want us to break the law? No, okay, I just want to speak to you, all right? I don't no, know. I'm dying. Can you not? Dying. Yeah, call the cops. I don't care. I, just don't interrupt. I just want to know. Like, if I'm a driver and I saw someone... You know, I'm like, okay, this is part of the law. There's, 
they're doing the right thing, but I feel like right now what I'm doing is dangerous. Do you continue? What I was doing was not dangerous. I was riding as per the laws of the road. I really hope we don't, but you never know. We might be lucky. I'm sorry, mate, but you're a moron. Okay, I get it. You might get pulled over if you're going lower than the legal... If you're going, like, 10, 20 k's lower than the actual legal speed limit. Okay, there's a few things to that one. A lot of people do that anyway, regardless of that. I can tell you, I drive around my area a lot. It happens very often, and it's very, very frustrating. But it's very uh, unlikely. But the bigger thing here is that if, you're do if you have to slow down because you can't get around a bike rider who's riding their bike on the side of the road, and you have to you have to slow way down in order to wait until you can get around them you're not going to get pulled over and lose your license for that because everyone understands even the police even the laws have this little thing that bike riders you have to give them the minimum of one meter if it's less than 60 k's and 1.5 meters if it's more than 60 k's per hour and if you're unable to give that room to get around them at that point in time, if you can't do it safely, then you just have to slow and wait until you can't get around them. It's not illegal to slow down and go lower than the speed limit when you're trying to wait for a safe opportunity to get around a bike. And you trying to be here like, no, 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 just because you have the right of way, no one was else, in the, no one else is on the right roundabout when you entered the roundabout. You have to wait for me to come through because I'm the motor vehicle. You're the person on the bike. It's not how that works, buddy. Get it through your fixed goal. These are people who are also allowed to use the road too, and you've got to give them consideration for that. They're not going to be as fast as you, but you also need to safely get around them. If you can't safely get around them, it's okay to not go the speed limit when you're waiting to safely get around bike riders. It's okay to go slow when people when bike riders are in front of you because you can't safely get around them. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Having this big hissy fit because that happened is just completely mentally stupid. Grow the hell up, mate. Seriously. <laughs> Road ruses in Australia frustrate me sometimes. Can you tell? <laughs> in his next clip, we got an employee who must have just been having a very bad day, or maybe this is a common occurrence, but he decides to just start treating customers like crap. Why? Done nothing wrong. Rude with me. Yeah, that's how you talk to veterans. They talk to me like that. My father was just you defending got, his wife. Yeah. You got rude with me. We asked you something. You could have said you weren't an employee. I tried to help you out. No, you did not. You told oh, it's over you here. Know. We're out. Oh, and I'm not even an employee. Guess what? I don't have to sit here. No, you don't. But you don't have to be rude to customers. I wasn't being rude. I was trying yes, to help you. Yes, you were. You didn't. You could have told me you didn't know where they were. I was trying to help you out. That's where no, you weren't. No, they. No, it is. It's it on the opposite side. No, it ain't. Okay, it. Come on. I'll show you. I'm gonna have to walk with you. Good. Disrespectful. I don't think you should be here like that. Thank you. Yeah, keep talking. Thank you. You are. <laughs> That customer is absolutely right. You don't have to treat people the way you're treating them. And he's running now. Facebook. Look, look, now he's still running his mouth. What's going on over here? The I asked the gentleman where something was. He told me the totally wrong aisle. So I came back and I asked... So what sounds like has happened here is that this person's directed down them down to a certain aisle for a certain item. Turns out the item's not down that aisle, so when they went back to let them know, the worker was a bit rude about it and caused this massive kerfuffle. That's what I'm gathering here. Either way, it's one of those things where... I don't get how, I don't care how bad of a day you're having, you still should try and maintain a certain level of professionalism. If you're unable to maintain that type of thing while you're working, then it's probably not a great idea to be working that day, or just try and avoid being on the floor where you're going to have to deal with customs, like, or something on those lines, like, I, I, I get it, you're having a bad day, but taking down the customs is just a bad idea and will probably lose you your job. It, it is what it is, man. Here we have an interesting one. The p person who's already here in the car park, they parked normally in their car park, but because the person next to them had double parked, 
they were extremely close to their car to the point where they couldn't get into the driver's seat. So uh, they have the most appropriate reaction to that incident. Not. Do it! Prick. Go, you goddamn piece of shit. You kicking it. I'm pregnant. What the fuck you gonna I'll do? Go walk off, bitch. Get the fuck out of here. Do you do something. Do fuck you. Curious question here. I wonder, would he have had the same reaction if she wasn't in the car? Like, if she was inside doing her own thing and he came out to see this, would he have actually still gone to throw stuff? Or would he have just been like, fuck, looks like I uh, screwed myself here because I double parked. Hmm. Like, I feel like that, for me, seeing some people's reactions, sometimes some people react far more because the person who cause them this so the supposed due harm is actually there so they'll give an appropriate reaction to them and i say appropriate reaction it's not really but <laughs> you get what i mean and it seems uh bright eyed to throw your drink at a person's car when the entire problem you're currently having is almost entirely your fault no not almost it is entirely your fault for double parking if you didn't double park you wouldn't be having this problem in the first place and good job we have we have inflation right now buddy you probably threw away like four or five bucks of a drink right there <laughs> <laughs> also, our uh, camera person, you didn't do yourself any favors by going to kick his car. Not the brightest move. <laughs>